Yes, we did. Bar, Scarlatti, and Pergolese. It's so rare to receive anything these days. It's a miracle for the different people. I'm telling you, he's planning to escape. We should get in on it. Yeah? And what makes you think that? Caught him carving something in the yard. Slipped it in his pocket real quick when he saw me. Looked like a key. Probably just a shiv. Nah. Mason ain't a fighter. Always talking and tricking his way out of trouble. Weasel weems, they call him. Stinky bastard. Come on, Finch. Not so bad. Even told me some letters once. Gonna write a note to my lady. Ha! What for? You think that whore's out there pining for you? Saving herself for when you get out? Huh? No doubt she's already moved on to the next fella, and the fella after him. You shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Easy now. It was just a joke. Yeah? Well, it wasn't very funny. That is not meant to be my meal. A little farm, but the salt's been great. Cold as anywhere when the wind blows, but the land is good. I agree. Well, used to be. Get up! Where are we going? Supplemented by some of the garrison officers. Stay out of trouble or you'll wind up in the pit. It's a little farm by the Salisbury Plains. Cold as anywhere when the wind blows, but the land is good. Right. What are you looking at, half-breed? You not understand English, that it? Ah, yeah. I... Do I need to knock some sense into that thick head of yours? I should try and find this Weems fellow, if he intends to escape. say a lot of things. I do not have time for games. A shame, as I was hoping you might play one with me. Fine. Are you familiar with the rules? A little farm by the Salisbury Plains. Cold as anywhere when the wind blows. Well, yes, certainly. Seeing as you already know mine, what's your name? Connor. Pleased to meet you, Connor. Well played. So, what brings you to Bridewell? Treachery. I have been falsely accused. Of course you have. Fisa Kerala. I think he will join us. 
You do not believe me? Why should I? You have the look of a brute. <laughs> you misjudge. I am an honest man. And yet, also a man imprisoned. Tell me how you found yourself in this place. It is a private matter. As is what you ask of me. I was trying to prevent a murder. Oh! Anyone I know? George Washington. The others put you up to this, didn't they? Thought it might be fun to have another laugh at Mason's expense. Fools, a lot of them. To make light of something like this. George Washington is brave beyond measure. Loyal like a brother, peerless in character, and unshakable in his convictions. That man is our Jupiter Conservator. Destined to lead us not just to freedom, but greatness. Anyone who says otherwise is either a simpleton or a traitor. And you understand why I need to get out of here. If I don't help him, he is going to die. Uh, I'll rest a while. You're serious, aren't you? Uh, the lot was trying to recreate the peace hope they used back. Very time. well. But it's going to take some doing. See, everything hinges on the key I forged. That loud finch stole it. it. Took me three months to make the thing, too. <sighs> we need to get it back, or we're not going anywhere. Consider it done. Really, a half turn clockwise. I have to try it myself. But is that before? Oh no, that would be familiar. Oh, that is too. He'd obviously fallen over in his stupor and not only pissed himself. Oh, while we're on the subject, did you meet with success in your hunt for a new assistant? If not, I may put forward my nephew, a good, earnest boy and bright. No, I haven't. He'd obviously... All right, scoundrels! Back in your cells! I think it has to do with the beetle. They didn't want to... Oh! This key is useless. What are you looking at? You in the market for us, Bin? Any part of the old hall remains stiff. Your key is useless. What do you mean? It did not fit the lock. It's not meant to. You forged a key that does not work. Well, that all depends on what you mean by work. It'll get us out of here. Just not the way you expected. Then how? You're going to use it to get the real key off the warden. You have to swap yours for his. 
Why not just have me take the real key? Why all this extra work? You might notice if it went missing. This way, he'll be none the wiser. And when he tries to use it? He won't. That's why we're targeting him. How do I reach the warden? Yes. This next part, you may not like. Oh, as if I've liked the others. Out with it. You need to pick a fight. What? Pick a fight, and they'll throw you in the pit. And how in the world does this help us? The warden oversees the pit. Getting sent there is the only way to reach him. Perhaps mortality. I give you credit. You've given this plan to risk my life a great deal of thought. Take down as many as you can. One or two will only serve to entertain the guards. You need to make them angry. We all have our part to play. Try not to die. I think it has to do with the beetle. The little one. Well, used to be. When I heard it was to be protected. So as to ensure a supply of... <laughs> You're not but swine, suckling at the seats of civilization, thieves and scoundrels all. And do you acknowledge this? Do you repent and beg forgiveness? No. You elect instead to commit new and more terrible crimes inside what should be a place of rehabilitation. You bide your time, awaiting the day of release that you might corrupt anew. The worst part is that the good people... Need to take care not to raise the alarm. You'll find Hickey through that door. It's where they keep the important prisoners. Nicer rooms, more space, those sorts of things. It seems even in prison, who you know makes all the difference. Thank you, Mason, for everything. I will find a way to repay the favor when my work here is finished. <laughs> 